Writing the temperature can be tricky. We'll start by looking at the three main measurement systems, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvins. Then I've got some handy tips to help you clarify how to write the temperature in your work. And finally, I'll show you how to add a degree symbol in Microsoft Word. Ready? Let's go. The Fahrenheit scale. The Fahrenheit scale used to be common around the world. Now it's mostly used in the US. In this system, water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. If you're using this scale, you can write the temperatures using the phrase degrees Fahrenheit. Just make sure to capitalize the F when writing Fahrenheit or use a capital F after a degree symbol. For example, in Washington, it's usually around 50 degrees Fahrenheit in March. When the mixture is ready, cook it at 360 degree F for 15 minutes. The main reason to use Fahrenheit is to discuss temperatures in an everyday context, such as weather or cooking, particularly for an American audience. However, if you're writing about scientific measurements or you're writing for a different audience around the world, you'll need to use a different measuring system, Celsius and centigrade. Most countries outside of the US now use Celsius to measure temperature. In this system, water freezes at zero degrees and boils at 100 degrees. To write temperatures in Celsius, you can use degrees Celsius, make sure to capitalize the C at the beginning of Celsius, or degree symbol capital C. For example, temperatures peaked at 31 degrees Celsius earlier in the month or the mixture was heated at 200 degrees C for 15 minutes. The Celsius scale is used around the world for both scientific measurement and everyday contexts of temperature. Finally, we have the Kelvin scale, which is used most commonly for scientific measurements. The system is a bit different because it begins at zero and doesn't include any negative temperatures. It also doesn't use a degree symbol. If you're writing a temperature using this scale, you'd simply write kelvins or K. For example, the ideal temperature is 295.15 kelvins, not the ideal temperature is 295.15 degrees kelvin. Or in this experiment, the water reached 453K, not in this experiment, the water reached 453 degree K. One tricky thing to keep an eye on in kelvins is capitalization. If you're writing out the full unit, no capital K is required. But if you're abbreviating the unit or referring to the name of the scale in full, use a capital K. For example, the full unit name, the triple point of water is 273.16 kelvins. Abbreviated unit, the triple point of water is 273.16 capital K. And the full name of the scale, we will measure temperatures using the Kelvin scale with a capital K. Should you write temperatures with words or numerals? The rules for this can vary quite a lot. However, there are some broad guidelines you can follow. For example, in scientific and technical writing, you would typically write, in this experiment, the water reached 180 degree symbol capital C instead of degrees Celsius. But if you mentioned a low round number in the dialogue of your novel, you would write something like this. He keeps his house at only three degrees Celsius in the winter, said Darcy, written out in full. There's often room for flexibility, particularly in less formal writing. For example, you might want to use numeral for the number and still write out degrees Celsius in full. I wouldn't touch that, she said. It's currently heated to 652 degrees Celsius. Different style guides have different rules, so be sure to check yours for specific guidance on how to write the temperature. Different style guides want a space between the numeral and the degree symbol while others don't. For example, in the Chicago Manual of Style, you don't need a space between the numeral and degree symbol, but if you're using APA style, you'll need a space between them. If you're not using a specific style guide, either approach is fine. Just make sure to apply it consistently whenever you're writing about the temperature in your work. What about negative temperatures? In both Celsius and Fahrenheit, negative temperatures are included in the scale of measurement. How do you write them? If you're using numerals and an abbreviated unit, you can simply add a minus symbol prior to the number. For example, temperatures reached a low of minus 34 degrees C. You can also use a minus sign if you're using a numeral but writing the unit out in full. Temperatures reached a low of minus 34 degrees Celsius. However, if the number in a temperature is written with a word, you should use negative or minus before the number or follow the measurement with below zero instead. 
As mentioned earlier, this isn't an issue with the Kelvin scale, which doesn't go below zero. Finally, let's quickly look at how to add a degree symbol in Microsoft Word. In Microsoft Word, you can insert a degree symbol using the symbol menu. To do this, place the cursor where you want to add a degree symbol in the text, go to the insert tab on the main ribbon, click the symbol button, scroll through the options, select the degree symbol and click insert. This will add a degree symbol in the place you've selected. Hopefully this video has you feeling a bit cooler about writing the temperatures in your work. If you have any particular questions, let me know in the comments. As always, I've linked some handy resources in the video description. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more weekly tips. Your writing, proof.